This is Twit. Hey, Leo. Welcome. So I'm a professional photographer, and nice. I I edit in my editing bay, and it's a separate room. And then when I'm done uh, and have clients come in to look at prints and stuff, we have a 65-inch Vizio TV that it's a 4K, and it's in the front room. And there's window light and everything else, so um, that's part of the part of the question. Um, but I hook up my my laptop to the TV to show them. And I calibrate my monitors in, in my editing room with an x uh calibrator. And if I took it in the front room, I was thinking about calibrating it, but then I unplug it and have slideshows going on when it's not being used as a uh, showing the print, but just showing our work uh, just as a entry, when you walk into the entryway. Uh, I was wondering what you thought I should do because I'm kind of confused. So just to explain for everybody else, you know, one of the... One of the uh key elements for photographers is that the screen reflects the photo accurately, right? That red is red and blue is blue and of course every shade thereof. And so there are screens that are more accurate, computer screens that are more accurate, some less accurate, but photographers who really are careful as obviously uh, you are Shane will use hardware calibrators and software. The calibrator measures the screen, sends uh, signals to the screen, then measures it and then you can create a profile on a computer that will uh, mon modify the way the screen uh, displays colors to make it more accurate. <clears throat> this becomes a real issue when you're printing because screens and printers make color in opposite ways. One's transmissive, one's reflective. And so it's actually very difficult to match. But again, this is something photographers really want. When you're photo editing on a computer, you want to make sure that what you're going to get is going to be accurate. Uh, and if I, it sounds like it sounds to me that you care enough that even when you show to your clients, you show that you want that wedding dress to be white, not not blue or gray. Uh, you want the you know the sunsets to have their correct colors and all of that stuff. And I, I admire you for that. Do you find that the TV is really far off? I don't think it's way off, but I do notice that sometimes people are like, well, it, it's a little less um, poppy or right, right. And my so, you know I have a retina. Uh, display and I'm looking at it, on, it while I'm sitting at my like my little. So it's interesting table. that you bring this up because Apple has released you know these new MacBook Pros and they're using something they put on the iPad Pro a while ago called True Tone. They have an ambient light sensor in the in the computer that reads the room light and then mod. Because remember, the room light is also going to affect it. You know, if you're in a yellow room. That's going to change the way you perceive, not the not the way the color actually is, but the way you perceive the color. So this true tone modifies the displays. You can turn it off, and you probably would want to. But that's why a lot of times people really care about this stuff. Color graders and so forth will work in a, you know, a thirty percent gray room. I have a friend who right. paints everything twenty percent gray because he doesn't want it to influence the colors on the screen. That's going a little far, if you ask me. But uh, and so what's interesting is these new uh, MacBook Pros have True Tone, and when you apparently that we in the spec when you connect an external monitor to it, it does the True Tone for the monitor, which is very interesting. But the problem really is when you got a TV or any external monitor, it's calibrated separately, and it, and a TV in particular is not going to be calibrated the same. You know, Scott Wilkinson's still on the line here, and I might pull him in on this because he he actually is a trained television calibrator, right, Scott? Absolutely. Would it would it help for uh, Shane to 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 do that to his TV? Sure, absolutely. I mean, if he's showing clients their photos, this is the same thing as happens in a color grading suite. the The color 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 scientist or the colorist has a little monitor that they work on, and they have a bigger monitor that they show the director. They show their work off to the director and the right. director of photography, and they have to be calibrated to look the same. Yeah, the DP is not is going to notice the difference for sure. Exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> now, you know, your customers for your wedding shots or whatever kind of professional you're doing, professional photography you're doing, might not have such golden eyes. It sounds like Still, Shane's do. <laughs> maybe so, in which case, I definitely would calibrate the TV uh, to match what you're looking at as close as possible on your computer monitor. Now, you can't use he uh, his existing PC calibrator probably on the TV, or can he? You could. I don't see why not. Okay. Uh, he said it was an x right It's an x right uh, Pro. It's the more expensive one. I can't remember what it's called. The, the, is it the i1? Yeah, i1 Display I Pro? 
Yes, that's it. Yeah, it's a great, great calibration monitor and a meter, and not that expensive. I think it's uh, on the order of it's under three hundred bucks, um, yeah. and it's what's called a spectro radiometer. So you actually can calibrate any display with it, and I would definitely use it to uh, to calibrate the uh, the Vizio. You said it was a Vizio. You have as a as a client monitor, so to speak. Yeah, it's a sixty-five inch Vizio, uh, two thousand seven. Does Vizio have all those? I've seen you do this with my TV, Scott. You that you go deeper into the settings, and there's oh sure, you know, yeah, absolutely, gamma and other, you know, yeah. Oh, this is the one thing that I'm bothered by is that if I calibrate it off my monitor, my laptop, what would happen if I unplug it and I just have it going as a slideshow? Would the monitor stay with those settings, or does absolutely. that absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yes. Generally, in the menu, you'll have custom settings and then presets like dynamic motion pictures, stuff right, like that. Right. And you, you can switch among those, but the custom right. will stay there. Correct. Now, if well, you that switch, mess it up, right? well, if you switch between inputs, so you calibrate uh, HDMI input number one, say, for when your computer's connected, and then you've got a slideshow coming into input number two. Uh, it won't oh. necessarily have the same calibration. Oh. Um, it depends on the TV itself. So it's, and again, per, it's per input. It's per input. Yeah. Now, ma many TVs have a copy to all inputs function. So once you've got it set for one input, you can copy it to other inputs and it'll be the same. In other okay. cases, if you, if you calibrate the custom mode, for example... Uh, and then you go to input number two and select custom mode, it may very well bring those calibration settings along. I'd have to look at the specific TV to know whether that was true in your particular case. But uh, one way or the other, you can certainly get the calibration uh, settings from one input to another, no problem. So how would I find that out? Like, I mean, I, that's the reason I'm calling you guys is because I Googled the heck out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're better than Google. You hear that, Scott? <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> uh, so I'm, can I go to ABS form? Is there something about, um, about like, uh, the, all the, I mean, like if I typed in my model TV, could I find out if it has separate HDMI just what say that in your TV manual, and you know experimentation sure. will also tell you. That's true. That's true. If you want to send me uh, an email, um, you know Scott at twit TV, I'll be glad to take a look. Nice. Thank you, Scott. I sure. That'd be it. great. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, I'm glad you care about your customers that much. It's nice, and it's good that Scott sticks around after the, his segment because <laughs> it always seems to be something for you. Thank you, Scott. I you appreciate bet. it. Uh, Scott Wilkinson, avsforum.com. A lot of computer monitors these days come pre-calibrated. And the really good ones, like the Apple monitors, they will individually calibrate at the factory before they send them out. And that's why photographers pay a lot more for high-end monitors because they, they, you know... But ultimately, there's, there's no substitute for calibrating your, them yourself. And a lot of pros uh, end up doing that.